My name is Becca. I am a nurse on the MedSurge ICU. Currently, I've been taking care of the coronavirus patients on the dedicated airborne isolation unit. We're used to having families at the bedside and we can kind of bounce things off them and they're really involved in the care. Um, not having families there is not only hard for our patients, but also us. We've been using FaceTime a lot and talking with families through FaceTime, setting up a lot of meetings that way, trying to keep them involved and to still be able to see their loved ones, even if patients are on a ventilator and trying to keep people connected and knowing that their loved one is really, really sick in the hospital. When we can set up those FaceTime meetings and, and phone calls and everything like that, people are super um, excited and they really enjoy to, to visit with their loved ones. And we've had a lot of really cool um, experiences. Like I had a, a more difficult conversation with a family after a family was told they didn't think their loved one was going to survive the day. And so FaceTiming them so that they could see their loved one and, and tell them goodbye and then have like their um, child tell them, I wish that you could be there for my high school graduation. Something like that is really hard, but that patient actually got better and he was able to FaceTime during his, high, his son's high school graduation. So that was really cool. I would say most of the patients that I've cared for with COVID so far the ones that have been the sickest have been probably between 40 and 60 years old. So they're, they're young. Um, and I've cared for a patient that was younger than myself and who was probably one of the sickest patients I've ever cared for. That's hard because you see their pictures of their families. We'll put them all over near their bed and you just, you see them as a person and you see their family and you hear stories from their families about who they are and you you kind of can see past them as the person in the bed and you think about their life and all the things that they have done and the you know and so it's just it's hard it's awesome I wish that I physically could see the person go see their loved one. You know, we see the people leave the double doors on the other side and oftentimes they're going to rehab or, or maybe going home. Um, and we're just in our unit. And so you, you kind of think about what that interaction must be like. And I bet it's just awesome because all we see really is the FaceTime call. And even that always brings out a ton of emotion. It's, it really is why we do our job. We just want to get people better.